I'm Cool as Ice Makeup, and I'm going to do a holiday party makeup tutorial before we get started. I did my brows, took the moisturizer, which is pulling a little bit yellow on me, so I'm going to ignore it. And my left eye completed off camera. All the makeup products that I'll be using will be all drugstore and affordable. So please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and follow me on social media. Links will be in the description below. Enough chit chat, let's get started. This is what I came up with. It is perfect for any holiday party or all year round. The more sparkles, the better. That's what I came up with. The more shimmer, the better. I was originally going to use cool tones, but I was like, nah, that is so basic. So I went for warm tones to make my blue eyes pop, I guess. It turned out good. The only thing that's cool toned is the taupe eyeliner on the waterline. And I don't know if my lipstick is sort of cool toned and the highlighter that I'm going to use. There's nothing wrong with warm tone for being like a cool undertone person, I guess. I don't know if I'm basing it off of my tinted moisturizer because it pulled a little bit yellow, but that's okay. I guess I can wear this all year round, probably to New Year's Eve, or probably to any holiday party I might go to once soon. Who knows? It looks very good. On to the makeup. Brad Primer, I took the hard candy one, you know drill. If you're asking me, I depotted it, like I scooped out the rest, and I just put a little bit on... Both eyes, the lids, and the lower lash lines on both of my eyes. And I wait for this to dry before I begin doing my left eye. <clears throat> the palette I'm using is the Essence Fire Palette. Unfortunately, this is a discontinued palette, but any warm tone palette will do. I was like, this palette needs some love. So I decided to use it. I'm taking the light brown the burnt orange and the champagne today so basically simple and a liquid glitter eyeshadow from covergirl the brushes i'm using are from best taupe a crease brush a lower lash on brush and a mini fan brush so that will be exciting warm tone was my second idea for crease i'm taking this light brown any light brown will do. This palette was just lying around in my makeup collection, so I decided to use it. Just on the crease. I don't know if the glitter eyeshadow might touch it. I'm just using the cheap eyeshadow primer, as always. The brush I'm using is the Best Taupe Tapered Blinding Brush. I guess I'm getting, like, a classic line let's have enough pigment i'm going to blend it the color has, the color has to be there when i open my eyes blend 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 okay that is good for the lower lash line i'm uh how do i pick up this brush i'm taking the birch orange the brush I'm using is the Best Taupe Small Eyebrow Brush. This is my bad eye and this is my good eye that I'm working on camera. I wasn't sure how to pick up this makeup brush. Well, I almost dropped it. <sighs> that looks really good. I guess I can wear this to any holiday party. That's what I came up with. I don't know if I might do more in the future. For waterline, I'm taking the Marcel Rubber Sharp Eyeliner in Taupe. And I don't know how to hold my makeup today. So please forgive me. It's a metallic taupe eyeliner with some shimmer. And this is how to sharpen it. You just twist it. And it is so easy. 
For the lid, I'm taking the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Look of Good Eyeshadow and Guilty Party, and I'm just taking a little bit using, oh, my ring finger. Just take a little bit from the doe foot applicator. I can't even speak today. And just place it on the mobile lid. The more glitter, the better. I don't want it to touch the crease. I guess I can let it dry for a bit. I guess this is enough. I'm going to wait for this to dry and I'm going to be right back. Okay, I wait for the liquid glitter eyeshadow to dry for a few seconds. I don't care if it transfers onto the crease shade. The more glitter, the better. That's what the holidays are for. For the inner corner, I'm just taking this champagne using my middle finger. Any champagne eyeshadow will do. I'm going to apply some mascara to this eye, and I'm going to be right back. Okay, I am back. Mascara is on. Eyes are complete. For mascara, as always, I took the Maybelline Great Lash Waterproof Mascara in brownish black. I still have some glitter residue on my ring finger. I'm going to wash it off with soap. As soon as I clean my makeup brushes, and as I soon take off the eye look with... Coconut oil for highlighter. I'm taking the Viva Color Selfie Face Highlighter in Magnifico or a Dollarama highlighter. It is just a white highlighter with green reflex. The brush I'm using is the Best Soap Mini Fan Brush. I'm just doing a subtle highlight, I guess. Mm, sort of like this. And then starting on my nose. Oh, it will give me... A glow. I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up. I just have to move my tripod. There we go. And I guess on my cheekbones. Mm, a slight sheen. I guess. This highlighter is perfect for oily skin. Like myself. And then on my forehead, some is getting on my makeup table, but, that, but that's okay. I'm going to clean it up after. I just want a subtle glow. That's what I'm going for. The more shimmer, the better. I keep saying that a lot of times. For lip prep, I'm taking the Burst B Strawberry Lip Balm. And I'm going to it with some toilet paper. So my lips are nice and hydrated. I'm going for a nude lip. There's nothing wrong with that. For that, I'm taking the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Lip Liner in in that in the nude. I gotta get used to that name. It's just a basic nude. And I used it before. I might as well start on my Cupid's bow. I used this lip liner once off camera and I was really impressed and now I'm doing it on camera today. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up because I have pigmented lips myself. This is what a nude lip liner looks like on my pigmented lips. Any nude lip liner will do. For lipstick, I'm taking LA Colors Lip Duo in Clarity, and I'm just go, going over top what I did. Nude lips are always classic, and I will always wear them. Here is the completed holiday party makeup tutorial. I had a lot of fun doing it. Cool tones were just too simple for me, so I decided to switch it up and do warm tones. This is perfect. I can wear it to any holiday party or all year round. The glitter is the icing on the cake. I went for a subtle facial highlighter. 
that was my idea in a classic new lipstick. So, stay tuned for more reviews and eye looks. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you, bye!